Once upon a time in the state of Pennsylvania, Harrisburg to be exact, one could say that the single most horrifying situation took place on March 28th. 1979. Didn't see anything, didn't hear anything. All you hear is the turbine trip and down she comes and they announce it and away you go. Many people forget and many may not even know that the disaster even took place. But one thing is certain, it changed the world forever. Some scientists would agree that the area surrounding the site is still unsafe due to the high levels of radioactive material that seeped into the environment on that dreadful day. So what really did happen on the date of March 28, 1979? And why did it happen? Let's go in depth about the largest nuclear disaster in United States history, Three Mile Island. The Three Mile Island accident was a partial meltdown of Reactor 2 of Three Mile Island Nuclear Generating Station, TMI-2 in Dauphin County, PA near Harrisburg, and subsequent radiation leak that occurred on March 28, 1979. It is the most significant accident in U.S. commercial nuclear power plant history. On the seven-point international nuclear event scale, the incident was rated a 5 as an accident with wider consequences. The accident began with failures in the non-nuclear secondary system followed by a stuck open pilot operated relief valve in the primary system. This allowed large amounts of nuclear reactor coolant to escape. The mechanical failures were compounded by the initial failure of the plant operators to recognize the situation as a loss of coolant accident due to inadequate training in human factors such as human-computer interaction design oversights related to ambiguous control room indicators in the power plant's user interface. In particular, a hidden indicator light led an operator manually overriding an automatic emergency cooling system of the reactor because the operator mistakenly believed that there was too much coolant water present in the reactor and causing the steam pressure release. The accident crystallized anti-nuclear safety concerns among activists and the general public and resulted in new regulations for the nuclear industry. It has been cited as the contributor to the decline of a new reactor construction program, a slowdown that was already underway in the 1970s. The partial meltdown resulted in the release of radioactive gases and radioactive iodine into the environment. Anti-nuclear movement activists expressed worries about regional health effects from the accident. However, epidemiological studies analyzed the rate of cancer in and around the area since the accident, determined there was a small systematic non-significant increase in the rate, and thus no connection linking the accident with these cancers has been substantiated. Cleanup started in August of 1979 and officially ended in December of 1993 with a total cleanup cost of about $1 billion. Currently Unit 1, which was not involved in the 1979 accident, is owned and operated by Exelon Nuclear, a subsidiary of Exelon. Unit 1 was sold to Amerigen Energy Corporation, a joint venture between Philadelphia Electric Company, PICO and British Energy in 1998. In 2000, PICO merged with Unicom Corporation to form Exelon Corporation, which acquired British Energy's share of Amerigen in 2003. In 2009, Exelon Nuclear absorbed Amerigen and dissolved the company. Exelon Nuclear operates TMI Unit 1, Clinton Power Station, and several other nuclear facilities. TMI-1 shut down on September 20th, 2019. Unit 1 had its license temporarily suspended following the incident at Unit 2. Although the citizens of the three counties surrounding the site voted by an overwhelming margin to retire Unit 1 permanently, in a non-binding resolution in 1982, it was permitted to resume operations in 1985 following a 4 to 1 vote by a Nuclear Regulatory Commission. General Public Utilities Corporation, the plant's owner, formed General Public Utilities Nuclear Corporation as a new subsidiary of owned to operate the company's nuclear facilities, including Three Mile Island. 
The plant had previously been operated by Metropolitan Edison Company, MetEd, one of GPU's regional utility operating companies. In 1996, General Public Utilities shortened the name to GPU Inc., and in 1998, it sold Unit 1 to Emergen. General Public Utilities was legally obligated to continue to maintain and monitor the site and therefore retained ownership of Unit 2 when Unit 1 was sold to Emergen in 1998. GPU Inc. was acquired by First Energy Corporation in 2001 and subsequently dissolved. First Energy then contracted out the maintenance and administration of Unit 2 to Emergen. Unit 2 has been administered by Exelon Nuclear since 2003 when Exelon's nuclear parent company, Exelon, bought out the remaining shares of Amerigen, inheriting First Energy's maintenance contract, Unit 2 continues to be licensed and regulated by the Nuclear Regulatory Submission in a condition known as Post-Defueling Monitored Storage, PDMS. The TMI-2 reactor has been permanently shut down with the reactor coolant system drained. The radioactive water decontaminated and evaporated. Radioactive waste shipped off-site, reactor fuel and core debris shipped off-site to a Department of Energy facility and the remainder of the site being monitored. The owner planned to keep the facility in long-term monitoring storage until the operating license for the TMI plant expired, at which time both plants would be decommissioned. In 2009, the NRC granted a license extension which allowed the TMI-1 reactor to operate until April 19, 2034. In 2017, it was announced that operations would cease by 2019 due to financial pressure from cheap natural gas, unless lawmakers stepped in to keep it open. When it became clear that subsidy legislation wouldn't pass within the next month, Exelon decided to retire the plant, with TMI-1 shut down by September 30, 2019 and it's been shut down ever since. I find it interesting to think that if this disaster had gone on for another couple of hours even, that half of the United States would be uninhabitable and part of Canada. Um, it would be the new Chernobyl. There would be no way to enter anywhere near the east coast of the United States for thousands of years to come. Now imagine that. The end came at noon today for Three Mile Island, the surviving nuclear reactor with those iconic cooling towers shutting down for good. Time has run out on Three Mile Island, a plant with many years of operating life that is closing prematurely. Local officials bemoaning the loss of 675 jobs, a $60 million annual payroll that has powered 830,000 homes and businesses for decades. Another blow to nuclear energy in America with no new nuclear plants other than those already being built, started in the U.S. since the nation's worst nuclear accident four decades ago. The local community has been divided ever since. It was just panic, it was fear, it was all these emotions wrapped up into one. There wasn't enough radiation released from the accident to cause health effects. 300 workers will remain for now dismantling the plant. Removing the radioactive spent fuel could cost a billion dollars and take decades. Andrea Mitchell, NBC News. Check it out, man. I mean, this merch is like really sick.
Check me out, bro.